always remember that this device is just a key. Your crypto is stored in the blockchain. This only allows you to have access to it from MetaMask or other hot wallets. When you want to send money, you can easily send it with one click. However, when you are using a hardware wallet like Decent, you won't be able to send it right away because it will need an approval from this hardware wallet. The only time that you get to take out money or at least transact especially if you're using smart contracts, is when you have this on hand, it's connected, and you actually sign off on it. Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to unbox this decent hardware wallet. And what's interesting about that is this is the first biometric hardware wallet that I'm actually going to try. So it actually adds a level of security to the crypto that you want to store as well. For those who are asking, why is there a need to have a hardware wallet? Why is there a need to store your crypto when you can actually put it in an exchange and in a platform? Which in my opinion is totally fine. It's okay to put your tokens or coins in an exchange because an exchange also offers convenience. It's easy for you to move without any gas fees, buying and selling different tokens, buying and selling different coins. And it's easy also for you to move from crypto to fiat if you have some stored in an exchange. But please do remember this, that similar to investing in stocks or picking crypto, it's not a one-size-fit-all scenario. Each option will give you its own pros and cons. So exchanges give you a level of convenience, give you a level of ease that it's easy to move around. It's easy also to uh, transact in a gasless manner. And in a way also it adds a level of security that if you want to move your funds, they have some methods also to protect you so that it's not easy to withdraw the money that you have in the exchange just in case someone gets your phone or your laptop as well. That being said, it also has its cons. And I know you've heard this so many times that not your keys, not your coins. Every time you put your crypto into an exchange, you're trusting your crypto to them. And if the exchange that you're putting your money into is something that's trustworthy, a company that will be there over the next decades, then it's good. However, we have also seen instances in the past where the money in those exchanges were not really used properly. Those exchanges also closed down. The fact that your crypto is under their custody it's not really yours. It's not really in your control. They can also set limits on what you can take out. We've also seen that in areas where there's a lot of volatility, some exchanges suspended withdrawals on certain chains. So those things are actually possible as well. Anytime you go to an exchange, you have convenience, but there will always be trade-offs for convenience. Now, that being said, hardware wallets give you a level of security that anytime you store your crypto in a hardware wallet, that's where the whole concept of self-custody will come in. That as long as you own it, as long as you hold it, and as long as it's stored in the blockchain, it's yours. No one can shut it down. And that's the whole point of decentralization. As long as it's in the blockchain and you control the keys to that particular wallet, then no matter what happens, nothing can actually shut it down. That's why even if you look at the context of China trying to shut down Bitcoin over and over and over and over, they actually can't because it's something that's decentralized. In the same way, if your crypto is in an on-chain wallet, it's already detached from the system. It's already something that you yourself have full custody over. Now, I mentioned that there are pros and cons. It's nice to own your keys. It's nice to grab a hold of your destiny. However, the flip side of that is actually this. If you lose access to your crypto or someone gets a hold of your private keys, then it would be a problem also for you. When you say you're self-custodying it, you hold the responsibility to protect it. Especially if you're the type of person that wants to stack a larger amount of crypto already, then it's prudent also for you to have a level of security that's attached to a hardware wallet. What we're going to do is we're going to unbox this. And while I'm trying to unbox this also, I'm going to try to talk more about Decent and what makes it a bit interesting for me. And just from the get-go, I'm not sure if you remember my interview with their vice president a couple of weeks ago, but one of the key features of this, and I've mentioned this at the start of the video, that what if someone gets your hardware wallet? Decent's hardware wallet is biometric. If they get it, but they don't have your fingerprint, they won't be able to have access to it as well. People have this fear that what if I lose my device? What if this gets stolen? How can I actually retrieve it? 
please do note this that if you lose your device, your crypto is not stored here. Always remember that this device is just a key. Your crypto is stored in the blockchain. This only allows you to have access to it from MetaMask or other hot wallets. When you want to send money, you can easily send it with one click. However, when you are using a hardware wallet like Decent, you won't be able to send it right away because it will need an approval from this hardware wallet. The only time that you get to take out money or at least transact, especially if you're using smart contracts, is when you have this on hand, it's connected, and you actually sign off on it. Let's try to do this. Let's try to do this unboxing. I'm not really an unboxer person, but this is something fascinating for me. It's so nice to be in the cutting edge of innovation, to see things that are highly interesting as they start to unfold before our very eyes. The world's most advanced cold wallet for the new generation of cryptocurrency lovers, Descent. Quickly verify full transaction details on large OLED display. Save valuable time using four buttons for fast operations. With the Sense fingerprint authentication, transactions are made secure and convenient. Using Bluetooth communication, manage your assets anywhere and anytime. Based on multi-chip architecture, Descent provides robust security to managing all your valuable assets. The world's most advanced cold wallet. Descent. Every time you buy a hardware wallet, please make sure it's sealed. Please make sure you have this sticker here to make sure that it's not tampered with because you want your hardware wallet to be something that's not been opened yet. So sealed by plastic. Number two, the seal is here at least for both sides. You know it's hasn't it hasn't been tampered with because it's really a challenge to open it right here. So at least you know it's not uh, it hasn't actually been uh, used and tampered with. Okay, so I've removed already the tamper-proof seal. So you have to make sure that the seal is not broken to make sure that it hasn't been tampered with. Now I'm opening it. This is what you get. You get a welcome card and all of the information on how to get started. So it has a QR code right here to ask you to scan the QR code for Decent for the user guide and initial setup. Decent has a hot wallet that you can download. So I already downloaded it as well. It's in my phone. I'm going to show you later on. But what's nice about this is you can connect the hardware wallet and the hot wallet as well. So what's interesting also is if you just want to try the entire Decent ecosystem, the hot wallet is something that you can readily download at no extra cost. And for this one, um, for the Decent hardware wallet, I forgot to mention this I'll put links in the description below that if you order via the link that I have you actually get discounts also attached to it so you'll see it flash right here the link is down below but you'll see it flash right here how it looks like and then the discounts that you can actually get so it's not just that you're learning from this YouTube video you get to actually get discounts if you want to protect your crypto as well then this is the recovery sheet I think this is where uh, you will write down your seed phrase. Please do note that when you start writing your seed phrase down, do not share it to anyone. Very, very important. Don't take a picture of it. Don't put it in the internet. Don't store it any other place. Uh, just write it down and keep an offline copy of it. This is what comes with the device. You have the decent hardware wallet. Then you have a USB cable. Then product description. So this is mainly it. As what I've mentioned, what's interesting about the decent wallet is uh, it's biometric and it's quite small and it's quite light. And looking at it firsthand, no, the screen is relatively bigger I've had a chance to try different hardware wallets as well so this one is uh, the first one that's actually biometric and aside from it being the first one that's actually biometric the screen is quite sizable and it's quite easy to use as well and I guess quite easy to see so I'm gonna try to turn it on there so it's turning on it's gonna ask for a language since this is the first time that I'm gonna have this I have to pick create wallet I have to pick okay so I have to pick a pin I just inputted my password, now it's asking me to scan my finger already. What you see in phones, that you have the ability to be able to scan your finger. So there. And you might be asking, why do you need a password for this? Of course, you have your seed phrase to be able to recover it. Aside from your seed phrase to be able to recover what you have, the password and also your fingerprint is for you to be able to gain access to the device so that just in case people see it or they grab a hold of it, they won't be able to access it from the get-go.
please do note that there are levels of security in your hardware wallet. It doesn't mean that when people get the hardware wallet, they can actually just gain access to it. They can actually just use it and transfer your crypto because again, there are two layers of security but by me opening it right now. The first level of security is the password that you set. The second is your fingerprint. So this is the part where I'm gonna have to write my private key. So I'm not gonna show this to all of you guys. I'm just gonna skip it but please do note that this is a very, very important part in the entire process that as it's written down, it helps secure your device and just in case it gets lost or just in case it gets busted, you get to retrieve it. Again, even if you lose your device, even if it gets stolen, you can still retrieve it by just buying another device and just by retrieving it. I'm gonna just write this down first and then we're gonna proceed to the next steps. I've finished writing down the recovery phrase and it's 24 words so please do remember to store it, to write it down properly and to keep it in a place that people cannot reach it or touch it. And then it took some time for me because after writing it, they'll ask you to continue but as you start to continue, they'll ask you to jot down everything just to make sure that what you've written is actually correct. Three things are ready to protect you, the password, your biometric data, and then third is your seed phrase or your recovery phrase which is very, very important. So now, since I have it ready here, the next step for me to be able to at least access to it from my phone is to connect it to the mobile wallet. Just some first things that I've noticed about this, no? number one, I actually like the display. It's nice and very, very smooth. The device itself is very lightweight. And I like the fact that after opening it from the box also, you could do almost everything without connecting to the internet. So please do remember that a hardware wallet is a device that is not connected to the internet. That's why it cannot be hacked because at any given point in time, it's not connected to the internet. They use a multi-IC architecture, integrated circuit, which provides the strongest protection for privacy and the private key. So it's not just that it's light, it's wireless. It also does its job to secure your crypto very, very well. So for those who are asking, asking what are the chains and what are the tokens that it actually supports. It has a variety of tokens that it supports but majority of the main chains are actually available from Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, XRP, Ethereum, tokens that use ERC20, Binance, and so much more. But a lot of the main tokens and coins that are used on a regular basis are available here. So next step is to connect this to my phone. So as what I've mentioned earlier, I've already downloaded this. This is available in iOS and Android. So once you download it, it will lead you to this screen where it will actually ask you where it says welcome to decent wallet and it will ask you what will you use to connect to this hot wallet or to this online wallet. By the way, Decent has a card wallet, but what we have right here is the biometric wallet. So we will connect this via Bluetooth. I'm gonna click biometric wallet and then it's gonna ask for a password. So please do note that the password that you write down here is also different from the password that you will write down here as well. So there, I already have my hardware wallet connected to my phone. So even if I'm not bringing this wherever I am, I could easily view it. I could easily also get details of this if I want to receive crypto. But what's nice about that is even if I'm out, even if I'm on the go, there's no need to worry. You won't be relatively scared also because as long as your hardware wallet is stored in a safe place, they won't have access to your crypto. At least as the economy starts to reopen and as we start to go out even more and more, um, you won't have to be anxious that, oh, what's gonna happen if everything is in my wallet? If you have it stored in a hardware wallet, then you are relatively protected. Just to recap everything, a hardware wallet protects your crypto because it's not connected to the internet. Practically speaking, if someone wants to take it out, they need to have access to this. They need to have your password. They need to have your fingerprint to be able to do so. 
And just in case this gets lost, your crypto is not stored here. You can just buy another hardware wallet, another decent wallet, and then you restore it using your recovery phrase. What's nice about that is since everything is in the blockchain and your decent hot wallet is connected to this, you can easily view the status or the amount of the crypto that you have. And you can also receive it just by giving the address, which is accessible also via your hot wallet. So this allows you to be able to be mobile. And in a way, also this protects you that your crypto does not leave your wallet. I hope that this was something that's insightful. For those who want to know more about it, we have it flashed right here, but I'll put the link in the description below. You get a discount if you use my link. You get a discount also if you use my code. I think it's above $50 for one and if you buy more than one, you get actually more discounts as well. This is something that I think that's very relevant to all of us because at the end of the day, if you want to be invested in the crypto market for the long term, it's highly prudent. It's highly important to secure it. It's nice to have a combination of crypto that's in an exchange. It's nice to have crypto also in hot wallets, but at the end of the day, for long-term holding, if you want to treat it like a vault, like a bank vault, you need your own hardware wallet. And by the looks of things, and just by this very, very short unboxing to all of you, I'm quite impressed by the Decent wallet. So if you guys have more questions about Decent and you guys want me to build more content about it, feel free to put it in the comment section down below and I'll try to do it over the next few videos as well. So this is Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon. God bless you all.